Are you struggling to get that new habit to stick? You watched last week's video, you've identified what your BHAG is, you've broken it down into bright sized pieces, but you cannot make it past the next day without giving up. I, I know exactly how you feel. I cannot even begin to tell you how many times I have said, we'll start again on Monday. I went from feeling guilty about breaking that promise to myself to making that promise part of my everyday activities that I don't even think twice about. And now, I wanna share with you. Let's talk about habit stacking. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jamie. This channel is all about us ladies rediscovering our spark and finding our inner badass. <laughs> On this channel, you're gonna see some videos with tips and tricks with Jamie. You're also gonna see some booty shaking, hip hop cardio classes, and some strength sprinkled in. On this channel, what I am doing is documenting my fitness journey on what is working well and what didn't work so well and sharing with my friends. I am a real woman working with some real ladies who wanna make some stickable changes. No crazy fads, no crazy lifestyle changes, just real life. Like girl, I'm gonna come to you like real life in this video. <laughs> Maybe I should fix my hair a little bit, but if you were like, girl, this channel is for me, make sure you go hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and give me some comments below on what you like and what you don't like. It'll help me grow this channel. All right, habit stacking, guys. Okay, guys, it's time to get serious. I put the hair up in a bun. <laughs> this is our third installment in our series for building healthy habits, and today we are gonna tackle the topic of habit stacking. And if you were like, oh, okay, but what is habit stacking? Stick around. So take a minute just to think about your day and think about all the really strong habits that you have already developed that you do every day that you probably don't even think about. It could be brushing your teeth, remember to turn the lights off, opening the blinds, making your bed. We're still working on that one with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> it could be going out and making your first cup of coffee. It could be getting in your car. It could be um, starting a certain podcast on your station when you get into your car. It could be driving to work. It could be coming home. It could be eating dinner. You, you get where I'm going with this. They're just the natural things that we do every day without even thinking about it. Leave a comment below about one daily habit that you do every day without even thinking about it. Keep going. Now, what if we could take one of these established habits and pair it with a new one. Did you guys have Connectos as kids? I'm gonna be showing my age. This is what this whole like philosophy reminds me of. It's like taking the pieces and connecting them together so that, you know, they're like all one piece. Am I the only one that had Connectos? No. Oh. When it comes to building those new habits, you can use the connections or the Connecto of your normal behaviors to your advantage. One of the best ways to build a new habit is to stick it Connecto, connect it <laughs> with one of your daily habits that you're already doing. So here are some quick examples. After I have my morning protein shake, I will take my mind. The protein shake is a normal habit that I do every day without thought. And now I tag my multivitamin with it. Or how about right before I get into bed, I plug in my phone. One cool one that we've kind of started is once we sit down for dinner, as soon as we sit down or to dinner, we ask all the kids, Tell us one thing that you enjoy today at school. Some, sometimes we get good stuff and sometimes we have to remind them that we said one good thing. <laughs> the primary reason that habit stacking works so well is that your current habits are already built into place. You have developed patterns and behaviors over all of these years that are integrated into your system and how you interact each day. By linking a new habit to that cycle that is already built into your brain, you're more likely to stick with the habit. Easy peasy, right? Are you like, okay, Jamie, that's great for these like onesies, twosies, but how do I connect these so that I can have multiple chains or longer chains in building that habit? So we're gonna try one out. After I have my morning shake, I'm gonna review my calendar for two minutes. After I review my calendar for two minutes, I'm gonna create my to-do list. And then after I write out my to-do list, I start on number one. Habit stacking lets us create simple rules that help to guide us in the right direction. It's totally like having a game plan for which action that you have coming next. No matter how you use habit stacking, the secret sauce to creating a successful one is selecting the right cues to kick it off. The when and where you choose to insert a new habit into that daily routine is what makes the big difference. Okay, so if you are trying to add like some quiet time or meditation 
and you're like, I'm going to do this first thing in the morning, but maybe first thing in the morning is when your kids are getting ready and they're running around like crazy. And you know, every time you put a shirt on them, they're then taking off a sock and a pants. I'm just saying maybe that wasn't the best time to plan for some mommy time with meditation. It's really important to consider the best time that adding that in will be the most successful. So, you know, you don't want to you don't want to ask yourself to put a habit in when you might be occupied doing something else. Okay, so let's do this. I've got a couple tips for you. Tip number one: find the right trigger. And are you like, okay, find my trigger? Got it. What does that mean? It means where do you start? So right now, take a minute, brainstorm your current habit. These are the ones that you do every day without even thinking about it. So like brushing your teeth, getting dressed taking the kids to school, eating lunch, taking a shower or a bath, turning off the lights, or getting into bed at night. Write those down. Got it? Okay. Tip number two. You've got to find a cue that is highly specific and can be done immediately. It's really common for us just to select a cue that's just really big, right? <laughs> that's the easy thing. So let, let's, go with, let's go with one. So let's say I want to do squats every day. I'm going to add that as my daily habit. I want to do squats every day. And I decide that I'm going to have it stack this, that when I take a break for lunch, I'm going to do 10 squats. That sounds good, right? Then your brain gets involved. And then your brain goes, okay, so is this when you shut your computer down? Is this when you are in the lunch line? Is this when you have your plate? Is this when you heat up your food? Is this, where are the squats being done? When are the squats being done? <laughs> the next thing you know, your brain is like discombobulated and you're like, I haven't done my squats. So let's take tip number two, where it says to be highly specific and able to create an immediate action with this particular one. So what if we redid that habit stack and instead said, when I lock my computer to go to lunch, I will do 10 squats right next to my desk very specific with immediate action. I guess now I need to start squats. Done. Tip number three, you need to be really specific and clear. And you're like, okay, that's really like tip number two. Hold on, hold on. If we say habits like I want to eat better or I want to work out more, they're really hard to stick with because they're so vague. These particular goals are not providing us any type of instruction or clear direction or when to act. They're just too vague. Also, it's important to be very specific. The more tightly bound you can take that new habit and put it with an existing habit, the more likely it is to be a success. Okay, so here's a few to ponder on. When I see a set of stairs, I will use them instead of taking the elevator. When I walk into a room full of people, I will introduce myself to one person. Probably more, but you know, we're building habits, bite-sized pieces. How about when I fix my plate, I'm going to start with veggies, green ones. Yes. And this one's a good one, right? So when I want to buy something that costs more than $100, I'm going to stop and wait 24 hours. That needs to be said for like all kinds of like purchases <laughs> sometimes, but stop for 24 hours. Okay guys, thank you for watching episode three in our series of building healthy habits. In this series, we took a look at habit stacking and looked at our top three tips of what we can use to be able to combine an existing habit and a new one and connect them together. Stay tuned for episode four. It will come out next Thursday night and we will continue on our journey with the topic of building healthy habits. If you like this channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Give me the thumbs up. Give me some comments. Let me know if you like or don't like. Oh, I almost forgot. I don't know why I keep forgetting this part. If you are looking for a booty burn workout that you can do from anywhere with no equipment, I got you. There is a link down in the description that will give you a new booty in 30 days. And you can do it from anywhere. You can do it from home, the gym, the hotel, the Target line, the Starbucks line. We can do it together. Come get me. We'll, we'll go do it in the Target aisle. Go check it out. There is a link down in the description. All you have to do is click in it. Give me some information, name and email. Send it right your way. So, free. Come straight to you. And you can do it from home. Bam. New booty in 30 days. And if you need help breaking those goals down into some bite-sized pieces, go check out last week's video. I'll put the link down in the description. Check out the free guide that you can download that will help you break down your goals into bite-sized pieces. Thanks, guys.